Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading day, which is Thursday, 28th of September 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can also download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, apologies for the delays uh, uh, or with regards to updates in the video, still currently on holiday. Okay, the last two weeks I've been on holiday, so still. Uh, traveling at the moment so no, unable to update uh, as uh, as obviously normal uh, hopefully next week i'm back to normal again back to the uh, daily uh, two videos uh, morning uh, or should we say mid afternoon and obviously evening end of day market wrap okay so look at the actual uh, market stats for today FTSE 100 finishing up for nine points dax up 47 cac up 11 FTSE mib ibex or both closing negative and the stocks 600 basically closing more or less flat in terms of the economic data, let's run through the economic data for today. Although we did have some speakers on, on, on board, uh, let's just go through this. Uh, German consumer confidence certainly comes in slightly weaker than expected, more or less in line. Uh, Spanish retail sales certainly come in weaker than expected as well. Mr. Pryor had a speech and he certainly sounded dovish from my understanding. Mr. Carney certainly sounded neutral stroke, uh, obviously indicate, well, for my interpretation, overall net net hawkish, given the fact that he said that. The uh, BOE certainly couldn't weather the storm in terms of Brexit and therefore it will be reliant upon fiscal policy. Uh, the only thing that they can do is distribute the actual, um, obviously, hit that they would take. Okay, uh, Miss May, again, certainly defending free markets to a large extent, although it's not a free market when you have the Bombardier row with regards to uh, uh, Boeing as well. Okay, so again, that certainly is in the background. We had the EU services sentiment, consumer confidence, industrial confidence, all certainly coming in stronger than expected EU data overall. Okay, uh, Lot and Slager speech from uh, with regards to the ECB again, uh, a slightly dovish speech arguing towards obviously a normalization, but slow normalization at that. German inflation data certainly came in more or less in line, if not weak on that. Slightly weaker, although in line, certainly nothing to cause any alarms uh, with regards to arguments of obviously the uh, the actual uh, ECB uh, raising rates or reducing QE is quicker than expected. Uh, US data again, jobless claims came in uh, slightly uh, uh, lower. Okay, uh, GDP numbers came in slightly better than expected. Wholesale inventory is better as well. Goods trade balance certainly slightly better as well. Consumer personal consumption expenditures came in line. Core personal some consumption expenditure came in line. George Stanley Fisher, again, uh, it certainly seems like the Fed have officially taken the hawkish stunt because they have the uh, the uh, tax cuts to back them up as well to a large extent, so therefore neutralizes the uh, hawkish stance from the Fed. Okay, so in terms of technical picture, let's just quickly go through the technicals for you for tomorrow's trading. German DAX, are first and foremost, we certainly seem to uh, look at the daily chart first and foremost. Okay, so we certainly broke out on the daily. Uh, it looks like we want to close that gap at 12.772. We're not too far off now. We're at 12.720 after hours. Okay, we'll see whether or not we can close that gap, uh, especially given the fact that Euro, uh, Euro USD currently below 1.18. Certainly is helping with a weaker Euro. 60-minute chart is just con continues. I mean, whether or not this is the uh, the George Bush, George Bush, uh, George Bush, Donald Trump uh, bounce on the back of obviously additional uh, uh, stimulus or stimulus-led bounce again. That's debatable. But that's the status quo at present. Okay, looking at the 10 minute chart at the moment, we certainly have held uh, that key resistance at 12,708. Whether or not we can hold that, we have left the unfill gap below behind at 12,650. Okay, we have another unfill gap below at 12,605. Those gaps certainly are looking to be potentially targeted. It, it certainly looked like we held previous resistance equal support, and then obviously the, the German DAX certainly took off quite impressively. So, certainly needs to be respected there. So, previous resistance. Uh, equals uh, support at 12.680. If that cracks, then you are looking at gap fill at 12.650. So keep an eye on that. Again, 12.708 is your resistance on the German DAX. Moving on to the French CAC now. Let's bring up the French CAC here on the daily chart. Uh, we're still holding that key gap fill resistance, okay, for my expectation, given the fact that IHS formation certainly is complete. You do have multiple unfilled gaps below now that we certainly need to target on the downside. Certainly looking for exhaustion here on the French CAC. 60 minute chart, double top certainly holding well at 5295. We haven't pierced that yet. Okay, we still have an unfilled gap left behind here at 5270. And then ultimately that gap at 5240. So watch out for a potential uh, fall below. Again, we did test that pivot low at 5280. Failed to really make any steam and test that potential gap fill at 5270. So again, French CAC certainly remains bullish. European equities certainly being helped by that weaker euro on the back of the Yellen hawkish stance. 
A D daily chart on the FTSE 100 at the moment. Let's quickly go through this previous resistance or previous support equal resistance for now. We are holding that 50% you have the 200 MA resistance as well. If that fails, then you are looking to go up to 7360 and potentially even 7430. So watch out for that. Uh, again, um, certainly seems like uh, we're certainly building a base here at 7280. And uh, we'll see whether or not we can actually make a new high uh, up to uh, key resistance of 7335 and potentially even higher. So again, that certainly is a possibility, and either way, we'll see how the market plays out. Resistance is seen on a 10-minute chart, 7320 and 7327. That's your key resistance for now. If you break through that, then obviously we open up levels above. We still have the unfilled gap that's left behind at 7285, so we're certainly expecting that gap to close. And uh, watch out below. That's my conclusion. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. I've covered the key main three key uh, indices to focus on. To quickly go over the. Uh, a chart of the euro euro usd now is coming into support okay this is a time where i would certainly exercise caution on any european uh, long positions and certainly looking to potentially exit on the fact that the euro usd now is coming into support also with regards to the uh, price of sterling let's quickly bring that up for you as well uh, sterling certainly has broken above especially given the fact that mr carney said that the uh, boe is, isn't there to actually help the transition in post brexit so uh, again that certainly is interpreted as being hawkish his hawkish stance certainly has been made public and ever since from my understanding and my interpretation sterling certainly is on the verge of a potential push higher and again that should be risky and negative for the FTSE and that is the case at present okay uh, we do have the situation with the Kurdish uh, situation with regards to the Kurdish vote and the implication that will have on oil again that certainly is a different beast altogether although copper has been rising today so I certainly respect that rally in copper Either way, that's the status quo, okay? Uh, now, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly download the latest app.